Hello, bonjour, happy Monday to you. I hope you're having a very good day and a wonderful start to the week. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe um, and please leave a comment and please tell your friends and your neighbours because that would be lovely. That would be a very lovely thing for me, which is pretty selfish, but I do thank you for your interaction. Um, and sorry this video is so late. I have been pulled from pillar to post everything's gone wrong for me like you know when you it's just like a joke it's like the universe is against you flat tire things breaking down macbook flooded mic broken uh dropped toothbrush down the toilet pan something else happened basically everything's gone wrong for me so i'm just really late in doing this video that's another reason just to give me a subscribe and a like please also look at my skin look how bad my skin is just now it's just ridiculous oh my god look at that look at that you would think i'm like 18 i've always struggled struggle with bad skin you get on with it it's fine um but wow today's today's new levels um i want to speak about arsenal against liverpool uh away at the weekend at Printon park um Okay, interesting kind of game and lots to discuss as well because did you see the aftermath? I mean, are we just avoiding the elephant in the room right now with Viviana Miedema speaking to Johnny C. Deval? <laughs> that was, that, the, the, the TV channel, I think it was BBC, was showing the game and the commentators didn't mention it yet we're, we're streaming the pictures. So I was like, can we not see that she doesn't look happy there? Like, are we not mentioning that? Um, anyway, another good win for Arsenal. I think they're so impressive this season. And, you know, you've got Viv sitting on the bench there. I believe she's been rested. Not fully match fit just yet. Um, imagine you might see a change midweek um, against Zurich uh, in the Champions League. Um, but yeah, just just an incredible flow they've got going at the moment under Jonas Cedarval. Things seem to be ticking really nicely. They're linking up very well. I think those changes at the back um, with Leah Williamson and Rafa Souza still being out at centre-back, it feels like it could be a recipe for disaster, but it's not. Like Steph Catley in that position uh, is a brilliant player, just seems comfortable and in control. Also, Ruben Moy, also fair play to her, uh, stepping up and looking good as well. Even Laura Wienreuter at right back, considering, you know, that has been Noel Moritz's place for quite some time, for a good season and a bit anyway. I think she's really stepped in and is starting to look like a proper player. And I felt that was going to happen. I said this, didn't I, uh, after the Euros, that I thought we would see her playing more for right back um, in her natural position as well uh, for Arsenal. And she seems to be doing very, very well. Um, but something that fills me with joy um, is Leah Volte getting her first ever WSL goal. Oh. And I really like Leah. I remember when I was pregnant. Um, this is just a random sidebar story for you instead of reviewing the game because it feels like it feels like a long time ago now. And I'm just looking to chat because my husband's out. But um, Leah Volte, I was at an Arsenal, must have been four years ago, um, kind of end of summer party thing. And Katie had said, why don't you come along after work? Um, and I was a proper passenger at this party and it was in this tent at London Coney and I remember Alex Scott was sitting across the way and she went in strictly later that year or so or was that the year after so how many, it must have been four years ago it must have been four years um, when was I pregnant I don't know these things see I can't count to ten never mind work out the math there uh, anyway uh, I had a lovely chat with Leah Volte that day I remember she was injured and we were thinking what a nice girl but we sat next to each other and we chatted away and it's always been lovely seeing her at the games after that I've seen her a few times out and about um, and every single game I'm at at Bonhamwood her dad is there Mr Volte what's his name is it Bill maybe anyway he never misses a game um, and for that game to be away I don't think he would have been at it but for me, I just thought, oh, like, you know, when you get all excited for somebody or their family because it's such a special thing. For her to get her first goal in the WSL, um, well, in four years anyway, um, was was lovely. It was lovely for Leah Volte and a great goal as well. And it seems like the, the Arsenal team are buzzing for her as well because that's the thing. We don't look at Leah Volte as a player and see her for goals. Uh, I mean, well, yeah, that's not what happens at all. But in that position, she's so comfortable. 
She's a bit of an engine. She, the way she turns and moves, uh, she's an outstanding player. But always nice to see somebody like that get a goal, and you know everybody be so excited about it as well. But me more excited than anyone for her dad, um, and that was really really nice to see. Uh, also, Frida Manum. I think we need to take a mi minute to just recognise for her age. You know, for the move that she's made to be away from home, even though she looks like a big unit of a girl, she's still young. Um, I guess she's been out of the team, what feels like for quite some time. Um, and now she's she's back in. She's back in in the last couple of games and had a really, really good time of it. You know, she was brilliant in the Champions League. Last week against Lyon, Viviana Miedema, um she was subbed in for Viv. Sorry, she started ahead of Viv. Viv came on later on. Um, and then there was no changes to that side yesterday against Liverpool. Um, perhaps when you look at it, it's um, it might be Jonas Cedeval's preferred start in 11 with the injuries that he has at the moment. Caitlin Ford, for me, on the left wing is just sensational. For me, she doesn't put a foot wrong. I've said it time and time again. Her control is brilliant. She puts them away nicely every single time. She's a wonderful player. Stina, back up in the number nine. Um, just ahead of Leah Volte, Beth Mead out in the right. Frida Manum, Kim Little, Kate McKee at left back. Uh, and Catley, Lotte Wibben Moy, centre back. And then Vien Roy turns and Sprigger in goal. It's a... It's a I, I get this, I look at this and the way they're playing just now, the way they've played the last couple of games, I'm like, okay, that definitely works. Then you've got on the bench, the likes of Viviana Miedema sitting there, you can still get Jordan Nobbs there. And the one that sticks out for me still, I've, as we've spoken about before, is that of Mana Wabuchi, who's just such a talented player. We haven't seen her nearly minutes close to what it should have been, you know. And, and you feel sorry for a player like that. There's speculation going around. Uh, Twitter that the reason Vivian Amidema was a little bit um, looked unhappy at the end of the game yesterday was because Mana Wabuchi came on for something like 30 to 60 seconds, um, which must have been a bit of a kick in the teeth to her. Made me think about Cristiano Ronaldo uh, again, Spurs when he was subbed on at 88 minutes and he said no and he left how hard that must be for a player to be so far away from home, to be all the talent in the world, but your manager just not rate you. That's all, I, that's all it seems to be, you know, and she's meant to be a really sweet person. She looks just kind and loving, and she's an outstanding player who we've seen just glorious moments from um, in the Women's Super League, but not at Arsenal. Um, so what's next for her? You, you do wonder. Uh, but what we do know is that Arsenal are still unbeaten in the league. That's 12 consecutive games. Uh, with a win and performing well in Champions League football as well. But a few questions there as what he'll do next, what's ahead of him um, as well. But for me, I just look at this now and I go, surely Arsenal will get the league. They have to. Under the circumstances, I think of um, Emma Hayes in, in recovery from her surgery. You know, I thought I thought they were really tried. Yesterday um, against Brighton, Chelsea, I, I, we've seen this before, of course, from, from uh, Brighton at, at Chelsea, you know, they can sometimes stumble them, but without Emma Hayes there, not knowing how long for it, I think maybe Chelsea could hit a little bit of a block, possibly drop a wee point here or there. Manchester United, I don't think you can rule out at all either, but Arsenal quite simply have to. A club that's so big, that hasn't won the league in four years, hasn't picked up a piece of silverware in quite some time. They absolutely have to do it. But what it feels like Jonas has now in abundance is squad depth. And we all know that can go a long, long way. Thank you for watching. Excuse me, sitting on my couch. But like I explained earlier on, everything's gone wrong for me today. So I should have business as normal in a couple of days. Hopefully. Bye.